people, I am 24 weeks pregnant and baby is the size of a... I don't really know what the size of the fruit comparison of a baby is, so let me check for you. I'm super prepared if you haven't noticed. So apparently baby is the size of an ear of corn. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's like the length, but I don't... Whatever, I'm not even... Not even worried about it anymore. Um, weight gain this week, I have I checked for you. I don't normally weigh myself. I've gained 15 pounds, I think. Maybe a couple more because I don't really know how much I officially weighed when I got pregnant. So let's just go with 15 pounds. And like I said before, that number will probably triple by the time I deliver. Maybe even quadruple. I don't know. We're going to find out together. <laughs> Sorry, my memory card was full because my kids play for hours on making videos. Anyway, so cravings this week. I've been craving burritos, not even the high quality kind. I've been craving like the frozen kind that come in this huge pack so I can eat like seven at a time because I, I don't know, it's probably the salt or something that I'm craving. I have no idea, but they're so delicious. I can't stop myself. I mean, I can stop myself if I stop buying them. Like when I run out of them, I can go a couple days, but then I'm like, I need burritos. It, they're delicious. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Also, salad, which is yay, healthy, kind of. Um, mangoes. I had a mango yesterday, and now I'm like, all day today, I'm like, I need more mangoes. Where are all the mangoes at? I need to buy some mangoes. They are so delicious. I don't know if they're in season, but they're whatever I had yesterday was so good. And then a pineapple. I bought a pineapple. I cut up a pineapple a couple of days ago and I ate it the entire thing. My daughter was like, oh, can I have pineapple? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I was cutting it up and I was like, do you want some? And she's like, oh, no. You know, she changed her, she changed her mind. Anyway, so I ended up eating the whole thing. The whole bowl of pineapple. I was like, how did, where's the rest of the pineapple go? Where, where did it all go? Who ate it all? <laughs> I did. Um, and I guess that's that's really it for cravings. And I guess pineapples are super sweet. Whatever. I don't know why I'm craving what I'm craving. I'm sure there's nutritional reasons beyond, you know, with the actual food. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, what else is going on? I went on a baby shopping spree this past couple of weeks. And I think, dare I say, I think I have everything I need for baby. Um, there's one I do, I don't need a diaper bag, but I want a new diaper bag. Um, my old one is kind of ripped in one spot. I guess I could like sew it up, but you know, it's just nice to have a new diaper bag for a new baby. I, I don't know. Um, diaper bags are super expensive though. This, we're going on our last vacation of the summer. Back to school is here already, oh my gosh. But we're going on our last vacation. We're going to Orlando. And they have outlet malls in Orlando, hey. So, I'm hoping to go to the Vera Bradley outlet. And fingers crossed that they have the diaper bag that I want. Because they don't carry it online anymore. So I don't know if they don't even make them anymore. I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping that they have it. If they don't, I'm sure I'll just make do with whatever bag that I find slash have from the last baby. Um, yeah, so anyway, with the shopping spree, I'm pretty sure I have everything, which is super like, ah, oh, you know, I don't need anything for baby. And I didn't need a whole bunch of stuff. And I think I'm going to post like a baby haul video once it, all the shipping stuff comes in and, and everything. But um, it's nice just to have that weight lifted and to know that, wow, I don't really need to shop for baby anymore. I don't need to, but I'm sure I will. <laughs> um, oh, the baby has been moving like crazy. Most of the time at night when I'm ready to go to bed, the baby's like, oh, let me get situated for bed too. Let me kick you a few times. And um, it's kind of annoying. I know movements are like, oh, the miracle, and that's the best part of pregnancy. But I'm like, can you please stop moving so I can go to bed? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I made some notes. So last week I got like three paper paper cuts and they're not paper cuts you know like the prongs in notebooks I apparently like cut myself three times on one prong or something and 
it, it's really annoying. It was like stinging and I was in the car when I was like quickly doing it, which is why I got a paper cut because I was in a rush. It's not really a paper cut because it was on a prong, so it's like a metal cut. Anyway, I was so worried about this scratch. I was like, oh my gosh, it's hurting me so bad. Like, why is it still stinging and burning and all this stuff? And then I stopped thinking and I was like, are you kidding right now? Like, you are getting upset over a paper cut and worrying about how much pain you're in because of a paper cut? And then I was just laughing because I was like, labor is so much more intense than a paper cut. So you better get over the paper cut right now or metal cut, whatever it was. Anyway, so ugh, it was so annoying. I was like, I can't believe this hurts so bad, right? Whatever, anyway. But it got me thinking about labor and how, you know, all the wonderful, uncomfortable feelings that come with labor. And uh, yeah, so I was like, get over this paper cut, labor is nothing compared to this or you know paper cut is nothing compared to labor what else um oh so i feel like my chest area my boobs are getting enormous i don't even know what size they are <laughs> i don't have like bra sizes i wear sports bras like 90 percent of my life and i just <laughs> i feel my sports bras getting super tight and i'm like oh my gosh i need to buy bigger sports bras because they're, I mean, they're getting like uncomfortably tight. Anyway, it's getting ridiculous. It's making me think of like how much bigger they're going to get when my milk comes in and all that wonderful stuff. So I'm gonna have to buy some nursing, like I love the sports bra type nursing bras, which is like perfect and they're super comfortable and no underwire. I stopped wearing bras because um, I got like a, a masochist or whatever it's called, a clogged milk duct with um, when I was nursing my second a couple of years ago and it gives you like flu-like symptoms so I was like oh my gosh am I getting the flu and then I looked it up and it was just a clogged milk duct. Anyway it happened twice in the matter of like a couple of weeks and I was like I'm done. Like, I, And I it was like a proper nursing bra it just had underwire in it and I was like nope not doing this anymore and um, I do wear bras like when I when I'm wearing a dress or something that you know <laughs> would be uncomfortable to show the back of a sports bra but otherwise I'm always in sports bras love sports bras you're gonna love them too dry them up um, oh the last thing I did I actually did it today I went to Target and did my Target registry which is kind of like backwards because I did all my shopping um, for baby and then I registered but let me tell you why I registered at Target because the last two times I registered at Target three years ago and then six years ago with both of my kids they gave me a $20 Shutterfly gift card so I was like oh I gotta go to Target and get my $20 Shutterfly gift card because they give it to you when you register for when you have a baby registry they apparently don't do that anymore I don't know I did get this nice bag from them this is what you, like, what a cute bag. This is such a cute bag. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It's too small for, like, groceries. But um, they gave me this and gave me the scanner, and I was like, yeah, score. My Shutterfly card is in here, so I did my registry and, you know, all this stuff that I would like maybe down the road but don't need for baby. And, yeah, so I got in the car and was, like, driving. I had to do some work. So um, I looked through it. There's no Shutterfly gift card. Womp womp. I was so upset. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they, didn't do, they don't do that anymore. But really, I can't expect them to like continue doing it after six years. Anyway, um, they did give me some really cool stuff. So if you're interested, I'm going to go through the bag right now. If you're not, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. But otherwise, Target gives you some really awesome stuff just for registering like for free they were just like oh here you go you're gonna register here here's a little gift anyway so these are i think there's two diapers in here and then like a set of 10 wipes like a travel size wipes from honest and i was like this that's awesome like what a fun little sample size and then this is like a nice big sample size and I think it's a cleanser. It's a dermo cleansing. I've never heard of this brand before. I've seen it. So I think it's um, I think it's a nicer brand. 
baby Mustela. I don't know. Anyway, it's a nice sample size. And then um, if you buy $30 worth of their products, you get a $5 Target gift card. Whatever. I don't know. Lots, lots of coupons in here. Um, what is this? I don't even know. Oh, two disposable nursing pads are in here. I've never had to use nursing pads before. I just don't get engorged and have a surplus of milk. Um, but if you do, two nursing pads. A Vino Baby Lotion. Look how cute that is. It's like a decent size sample though, you know what I mean? Oh, and what is this? There's some coupons in here. Buy one, get one free Starbucks. <laughs> like, why would they give that to a pregnant woman? Or, I mean, I know some women drink coffee like one a day, but... I don't, I don't know. Um, and then I'm sure they have like non-caffeine, caffeinated drinks. Anyway, $20 off of Liz Lange, I don't know how to say that, Target maternity apparel, and then $10 off nursing bras and or candy purchases. So uh, did I say 10% off or $10? It's 10%. But there's some good coupons there. Um, here's another coupon for $2 off Enfamil formula. Here's a, a butt paste. I don't know, it's just a sample size butt paste. Never heard of that before. Um, oh, and there's two nursing pads in here. Doink! Use those. So, four nursing pads already, hey! Just in case you need them, there they are. You never know if you're going to be one of those women who, um, you know, has an oversupply. This is a paint coupon, $25 off premium paint or wallpaper purchase. I wasn't even aware that Target sold paint. I went in there one time looking for spray paint and they didn't sell it, so maybe just some Targets do. This is a bottle, Avent, the most natural way to bottle feed. I don't know, it's nice that they throw that in there. Couple more things, oh my gosh! 20 wipes. Unscented baby wipes. This thing is huge. This is a nice sample size. There's 20 wipes in there. A nook. We call them um, binkies, like a pacifier. So that's that's in there. Cool. Um, I don't know what this is. Uh, $20 off. Oh, a smart ear thermometer. Not $20 off. 20% <laughs> off. Um, what is this? Some more coupons for baby food. Um, register with Target. Five dollars off. A Munchkin. Munchkin supplies, maybe the whole thing, or just the pail. I don't know. And then that's it. I, oh no, I lied. There's one more boogie wipes. There's a sample of boogie wipes and then a coupon off. So, if you are wondering, hey, is it worth it for me to go to Target and register? If you like this stuff, it is. There's no Shutterfly coupon, but um, this was pretty awesome, I think. So, that was my last couple of weeks. Yes, this week we are going to Orlando for a few days, and uh, we're going to enjoy our last vacation before school starts. So, I hope you have an awesome back to school slash end of summer, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I mean, we, we even had like a tummy time mat and like little pillow. Like what? I didn't need half of this stuff I got from my baby shower and everything. I just, I feel like I wasted so much money. I feel like I just had a whole bunch of clutter that we didn't really use. Like, you don't need a tummy time mat. Throw down a blanket. You're fine.